Hey all, Abe here, and welcome back to the channel. Here's hoping you and yours are doing well. Continuing our playthrough of the Outer Worlds, we last left our hero, well, finding out that uh, Phineas Wells was captured by the board uh, and incarcerated in the Labyrinth, a maximum security prison in an uninhabitable planet called Tartarus. It's essentially a penal colony. Uh, where he is currently housed and it's uh, gonna be a very dangerous uh, endeavor to try to get him out uh, the consensus of the crew seems to be that they are in agreement to try and free him uh, and break him out of prison uh, Ada though informs us that uh, we essentially have to uh, you know finish up whatever remaining issues we may have whatever remaining quests we may have outstanding uh, before we take on uh, the rescue uh, so we proceeded to go down the list uh, of our quest log and banged out a couple of quests. We're continuing on those efforts. We have a few more quests to do. We have just arrived at Scylla, uh, where a few of our companions have quests there to be completed. Uh, and that's that's where we're at. Let's, let's pop in. Let's get into Scylla. Let's see what we can get into. Okay. Ooh, do I have a... Do I have a map to go down there, or or what? I don't, I don't know. Primal glands? Is there a map for me to go there, or no? I don't know. Is, is there uh, some ways to whoop? There's a way to whoop. Looks like both of these are... Ooh, there's three of these things out here. This is... What is this place? I don't know. Uh, but there's a place right over here, so I guess uh, guess we could probably go there. Except, alrighty, 110 meters. Here they come. Who, who's coming? Ooh. Get burnt! Get burnt! Get burnt! It's okay. El fuego! El fuego! Very nice. There goes the vicar. He's gonna go hit that thing. Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Oh, you didn't hit him, vicar. What's going on? That's oh, very depressing. Oh. Very nice. Ooh, there's a machine here. Let's go ahead and sell, sell whatever junk I may have. Excellent. Alright, there's something going on down here. Let's see what's happening. Um, oh. Okay, here we go. Pungent we Primal. Here we go. Oh, it's too, he's too far away. He's too far away. Get closer, get closer. There you go. Burn, baby. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, whoa, whoa, take it easy there, Kong. What's going on with you, buddy? Yeah, there you go, man. Man, this fire is awesome on the primals. It just lays them out. Oh, awesome. All right, so we got... Looks like we got the quest, uh, that we, the stuff we needed for the quest. What, what's, what's the deal with the quest? Let me see here. Starcross Troopers, collect three of them. Okay, so I got three of these critters to kill, which is fine. What is, Max, where is your, where is your guy at? Is your guy near here? Your guy is right over here. Let's go ahead and bang that out. All right, the hermit. Ooh, hello, hermit. How you doing? What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? Just more dirt and debris? Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. Oh, man. We're here to get this book translated. Max? We've been told this was once yours. 
I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry, and the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. I've spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. Look, can we just move this along here, please? Oh, no, nah, that's, that's rude. That's rude. Uh, Hermit Lady, enough talk. How about you throw Max here a bone? There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is uh, not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. Gotta kill critters. What happens if you're unprepared? Either hallucinations followed by unconsciousness and a headache, or raving insanity, which can be fun in its own way. Yeah. Well, Max, well, Max just said he was he was prepared, didn't he? But is he truly? How did you find me? What happened to the thief who stole my book? I don't know what happened to him, but we uh, killed his son. But we had a good reason. Or maybe not. In hindsight, we may have acted rashly. Regardless, Max sees the error of his ways and is committed to achieving enlightenment. His actions say otherwise. Obviously, his preparation is wanting. He's not only more prepared than most, he's also amassed many rare philosophies. <clears throat> He's also amassed many rare philosophists. Philosophists. Philosophists? So, philosophist tracks. Ugh. He's not only more prepared than most, he's also amassed many rare philosophists tracks. Did I say that right? He's not only more prepared than most, he's also amassed many rare philosophists and philosophists tracks. Impressive. Your profound words do not make for a prepared mind. However, you did come all this way and bring me some new reading material. Okay, let's give it a whirl. Worst that can happen is he's driven insane. A small price, and a risk I am more than willing to take. Okay. I'm committed, no matter the cost. Well, shit. Come this far. <laughs> we die, at least we'll die hearing colors and seeing sound. Well, that's some way. I'm in. Let's do it. All right. Head on into the meditation room and partake of the sacramental incense. It's waiting on the table when you're ready to begin. Awesome. Well, that's it's not me, right? That's this guy. You you gotta go in there, Vicar. Uh, handle your business. Oh, some kind of craziness. Breathe. Oh, I do have to. Oh. Breathe deeply. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. Freakiness! Freakiness is happening. Maximilian, why are you still doing this? You've been fighting against the world since before you left home. Haven't you figured out yet that the more you fight, the more pain you cause yourself? Mother, mother, you're dead. You can't be here. I knew this was too good to be true. These are just cheap hallucinogens that have... What's happening to my voice? Does my voice sound weird to you? And what's wrong with your face? My face? What's wrong with your face? <laughs> Did you get that second mouth? What a second mouth? <laughs> your mother's right, Max. We should listen to her. <laughs> Don't tell me these drugs have warped your sense of truth along with your face. Is it just me or is everything a little wavy in here? Little bit, little bit. Little Never bit. mind. This is all lies, I'm sure of it. We are obviously the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated. Uh, uh, perpetrated? Uh, I mean, we're being made fools of, aren't we? When I get out of here, 
I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. Maximilian, always ready to give up, to lash out. Always searching for answers, but always in the wrong place, never looking inside himself. What in the void do you expect him to find inside himself? It's just blood and squishy bits of... <laughs> oh no. Is my vomit on you? <laughs> I need you to know. I'm sorry. <laughs> We came all this way. We ought to at least hear her out. Thank you. It relieves me to see there's at least one positive influence in my son's life after all these years. Has he told you how he thoughtlessly abandoned us? Thoughtlessly? How could you say that? I only wanted you and father to be proud of me. I was going to be the perfect vessel. I was going to be a better... More full of the plan. This here, it's all coming out wrong. The plan, it filled you with a joy I could never feel. I wanted it. And being a laborer made me miserable. I was better than that. You certainly convinced yourself you were. But don't feel bad. We continually lie to ourselves, weaving stories in a vain attempt to convince us that we are in control of anything. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to drop your story and see the truth. I could tell you all manner of stories. I want to... I'm sticking to alcohol from now on. <laughs> yeah, about seeing the truth. That's, um... That's hard. You want me to give up my... My discipline? My... Control? I, oh, but I can't. I can't. I, without order, there is chaos. You need to love the chaos, Maximilian. Let it envelop you. Take you where it will. Besides, you really have no choice anyway. No. That's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know it is. So did you. Why are you denying it? Before you died, the plan made you happy. No, it didn't. I made myself happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never understand anything. Goodbye, Maximilian. This whole thing, it's, it's, it's just a farce, right? Just, just my own brain working against me? You couldn't be more right. Hello, Max. What? Who? Why do you look like me? Are you me? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined, controlled. I have no doubts, and I don't exist. Yet you have judged yourself against me your whole life. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? I don't get half of what you're saying, but you're insulting my friend, and he's a stand-up guy. I don't know what to say. Thank you, Captain, but... I just... I don't know. Is it wrong to try to be a gooder, better person than I am? But that's not what you're doing, is it? You're desperately trying to find a story to organize reality in your head. A story to control everything. A new story of the happy you. The contented you. Me. That's not... Uh, it can't be right. I, I've only been searching for the answer to the equation. Because it will set us free. Won't it? How? By removing the need to make any decision. To have your life completely controlled. The illusion of certainty. Your obsession allowed you to avoid the real question. Who are you? I'm Max. 
Me. I'm real. You can't convince me otherwise. Please don't convince me I'm not. So, I'm not real? That's a relief. Being real is tough. Ironically, your lack of introspection means you're actually closer to the truth than your friend Max is. Your individual self is what's not real. It is simply a concept. By the architect. Architect? How could I have believed in an architect? That's ridiculous. I must be losing my mind completely. What you're saying almost makes sense. We exist inside our thoughts, thinking we're in control. That's it, isn't it? We have no control over anything. It's all lies. How could I not have seen this? But how do we escape our... ourselves? You're doing great, Max. You think the hermit would mind if I throw up in the corner? I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. It's a gift. What happened? I woke up. The illusions I built for myself just fell away. I'm no longer interpreting. I'm experiencing. Everything is perfect. I'm glad you found the answers you were looking for, Max. In a way. Perhaps it's more accurate to say I was asking the wrong questions. I understand so much more now. I see it all. All there is to be experienced, to be lived. Of course there is pain and loss. But the suffering is caused by trying to control reality. Clinging to the way you want things to be. Not enjoying the way they are. There may be something to that. You seem happy. Or at least, not angry. I am content. I have finally found what I was looking for. Even though I was looking for the wrong thing. Alrighty. Let's head on outside. Let's see what we can see. Okay, let's um, you know, let's um, let's take a look at what else we have around here. We have, let's see here, friendship do. Is that one nearby? Let's take a look. That's two forty-five. Okay, Clyde Harlow. It's right over there. And what is the other one from uh, Nyoka? Star Cross Troopers. That one is. We have a 4:35 and one at 101. All right, so let's go ahead and do this one real quick. Mm. Hmm. Nope. Ha! What? Seriously? You're you're yelling over there? Come on. Whoa. Can I not jump through here? Oh, okay. Yes, I can. All right, we are good. Killing some critters. I, f I see you, Primal. Chicken that ass. Chicken that ass. Chicken that ass. Get some fire! Take it! <laughs> El Fuego! Oh man, this flamethrower is so awesome. So awesome. Man. Awesome. Awesome. Is, uh. Did we not kill the thing? Or did we kill the thing? Uh, I think we killed the thing. Let's uh, let's keep it moving. What's this in here? Shall we go and investigate? We should go and investigate. Um, what's? Ooh, is there some kind of robot over here. Oh, we got some kind of tremor cleaver. Okay. Some goodies. And abandoned prospecting drone. Talk. 
Salutations. This unit's primary function is excavator. Owner, Hephaestus Mining Corporation. Other functions include dialogue, limited, current, active commands, excavation. That is all. This place is abandoned. I think you can stop. Negative. The presence or absence of human operators does not impact this unit's assigned directive. This unit achieves perfection by fulfilling its directive. You know, it's a crying shame that auto mechanicals can't get drunk <laughs> or laid. <laughs> this thing needs both. Dedication is a virtue. Let's leave the automech to it. This unit has now exhausted its available library of opinions about excavation. Okay. What are you excavating? This unit is removing rock matter in search of minerals, metals, and other forms of matter designated valuable. Hmm. So you're a prospector. Brevity identified. Affirmative. This unit could discuss excavation at greater length, but does not wish to strain its daily charge. Fair enough. Thank you for your consumer loyalty, Junior Excavator. This unit will store this exchange in its memory banks always. Huh. Okay. Well, good luck with that, buddy. Excavate away. Interesting little thing. Not sure how that helps us at all. If it helps us at all, I don't think it does. Is there anything else going on here? Is there a way out? Up? No? Can I jump somewhere? Nope. Okay. Let's go. We are leaving. Oops. Which way is the way out? Which way is the way out? Tell me! Okay, here we go. Oh, we got some more baddies over here. Let's kill it! La muerte! El fuego! There you go. There you go. Enjoy that. Enjoy that. That's good. That's good. That's for you. Oh! 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 Where are you? Where you going, buddy? Oh, there you are. Let's, let's burn you up a little bit. There you go. Nice. Very nice. That's the last of Hit that thing, Nayoka. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Let's go take a look at this other dude over here. Let's see. Primal Ravager. Here we go. More primal glands. Hey! How you doing? Let's uh, take a little barbecue. You guys like at a barbecue or no? Where'd he go? He went underground? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where are you? Where are you? Hit him! <laughs> nice. Oh. Are you shooting at us, dude? Where is he? Oh, man. This flamethrower is a beast. Love this thing. Okay, I think that that does it. Where you at, girl? Talk to me. That queen ain't gonna go down easy. I can't wait. What's up? These glands are gross. Take them, please. Outstanding. These ought to be enough. Let's get back to Monarch. There's an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the queen's brood to get to the center. We'll set the bait there. Password to the door is Charon. What's Karen? Hayes' idea. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, Nioka. Charon. Huh. He said it was some old myth. Something about death and all the things we killed. The rest of us just thought it sounded cool, so there we are. Hmm. Fair enough. Remind me, what's the space again? It's an old cave system we tried to turn into an encampment. You'll see when we get there. It's about time. We're gonna go kill a mana queen. Fucking right we are. Let's do it. Alright, so we have to go back to Monarch. Uh, so let's hold off on her bit for now. Let's take a look at the quest log. 
So that's back to Monarch. So we'll go ahead and handle this Felix quest. And go ahead and speak with Mr. Marla. And then let's do that just after we kill this Mega Primal dude right here. There you go. Take that. Take that. That's good. That's good. You're going to enjoy that. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh! Oh, no. Oh, you're running. You're... Oh, here you go. Barbecue Primal! Kill it! Oh, look at this jeweled ring. Oh, look at all the goodies I got from this thing. Awesome. Okay, I got some kind of doo-doo on me. Something's happening. The pain. The pain is killing me. What is it? What is it? Stop it. Stop it. Okay. All right, so we are good people, and I think I'm over encumbered, which is quite possible considering all the crap I just got out of that super monster over there. Let's uh, let's go ahead and clear that up a little bit. Where's our inventory? Okay, that's enough. Let's go. All right, so these are robots. We need the other weapon for this. Processing data. Investigating. Investigate away, buddy. Investigate. Feel free. Investigate all you like. Not a problem. There's a dude all the way over there coming over here. There's, oh, look! From far away! Take it! <laughs> here he comes. He's hopping around. He's hopping around. The hopper. It's the hopper, people. Ooh, look at that. Oh, down you go. <laughs> Alright, let's go and uh, talk to... Uh... Wait, am I supposed to get on the ship? Why do I have to get on the ship? Oh, because I don't have Felix with me. Duh. I'm so dumb. Let me go. Is one healthy if they are well adjusted to a sick society? Uh, I don't know. So, can I send you back on the ship? I've been mulling over everything with Graham and the Iconoclasts. I don't normally advocate murder, but as far as Graham was concerned, I think you made the right call. Glad you see it my way. I think we often see eye to eye. It's one of the reasons I believe our paths were destined to cross. Uh, return to the unreliable, Vicar. I want you to wait for me on the ship. Will do, Captain. I'll keep an eye on her. In the meantime, take care of yourself out here. Well, can I not get... Another party member? I was hoping I can just pick up another party member, but I guess not. Um, yeah, I don't know how that. Oops, I don't know how that works. I'm rather late in the game to try it out, but I guess that's that's the way that goes. All right, never mind. Let me just go back to the ship, and we'll pick up. Um, uh, we'll pick up Felix. Okay, let's see if we have a um a way to warp to where we need to get to. Possibly not, but you never know. Let's hope the uh the map just loads, thank you. Alright, so where is the Huh? No. We're doing friendship do. Oh, so he's right here? Is that what's happening? I don't want to say, travel to the landing pad and chat with him. That's what's on your mind. What well, what's on your mind? Where where is this? I wanted to ask you about this Harlow guy. Yeah, sure thing. Ask away. Where is he? How did how well did you know Harlow? Clyde was my first friend, but he was also my mentor. Taught me how to think, how to question, how to disobey. I figured the board got him in the end. Some guys with black uniforms snatching him off the street in the middle of the night or something. You said Harlow was your mentor. Yeah. I was just a lonely orphan kid getting my knuckles dirty. Clyde? I want to say he saw some potential in me. Like as not, he just took pity on me. So he took me in. Gave me a place to live. Gave me something to believe in. You think Harlow might be in trouble? That's what I don't know. The message was light on details. No explanations, as usual. Clyde. He was a blustery old cuss. Carried on about violent revolution and seizing the means of production. 
Harlow must have made some enemies, the way he talked about revolutions. Clyde wasn't an idiot. He kept his head down, worked hard, did as he was told. You're not going to catch him standing on a soapbox decrying the tyranny of the board. But when the Mardettes had their backs turned, oh yeah, he carried on about starting a revolution. Said he was going to do something big. Hmm. Never mind, let's talk about something else. Yeah, boss? Okay, I don't really need to know all that. Never mind. Um, where is the guy? I don't... I don't really get what I'm supposed to do here. Journal, friendship due, bring Felix to meet with Harlow. Felix wants to meet with Harlow in person. Travel to his landing pad on Scylla to have a chat with him. Oh, he has a separate landing pad on Scylla. So I have to go into orbit, I would assume. Okay. Crew report. Neoka is drunk. <laughs> Damn. Surprise. Damn, Neoka. You're always drunk, girl. Crazy. All right, so we are in Scylla. Harlow's base. Oh, well, there you go. Let's go ahead and... You would think that would have been a better way to do that, but I guess not. All right, let's take Felix. Let's take Ellie. All right, I mean, not Ellie, uh, Nayoka. Let's go. All right, so this is the second landing pad. Okay. Ooh, there's a dude right down there. Um, I can't, I don't want to jump. Where's the, is there a switch for this, for the thing here? Or no? Oh, there it is. Hey, you, looking for something? Where do you think you're going? Felix Millstone's with me. Cl Clyde Harlow's expecting us. Yeah. The captain said we might be getting a new recruit. That you then? Sounds like Clyde's jumping to conclusions, but yeah, I'm Felix. You're on a first name basis with Captain Harlow, huh? All right, go on through. Mm hmm. Got my sights on you. You what? Man, I'm about to shoot you in the face. You keep talking nonsense. Whoa, did you just break dance, bro? What are you doing? <laughs> He's doing the robot. <laughs> get it. Totally get it. Um, how do I get in here? Am I, what am I missing? How do I get in? Is there... There's not a door here, is there? No, that's not a door. Alright, I'm just being dumb right now. Oh, here we go. Xanthus. Okay. What was that? Was that a card of some kind? Oh, cigarettes. Hey, look at this charming fellow. Is that Marlo? Hi, Marlo. Oh, anyway. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see or a you've aged, old man. Well, this is awkward. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. He kicks things what need kicking. And we look the other way when he starts talking anti-corporate. It's a good arrangement. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. Tell me why we're here. I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Hmm. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix, but neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. You want to put him through a test? Everyone in my crew proves their loyalty. No exceptions. Not even Felix. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. 
Name's Trask. Kill him and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. What did this Trask do to deserve death? Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own and tucked tail. Mm. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. There's more to this than you're letting on. You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. How well do you know Felix? Well enough. It's been a few years, but I still remember a thing or two. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything and you'd never back down. What do you mean, had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an argument. You see what I had to deal with? There's something I'd like to ask you. Let's hear it. You said you were working on something big. A revolution is the work of a lifetime, Captain. I've spent my life preparing for the day of Halcyon's reckoning. Everything you see around you is the result of that preparation. A base of operations, loyal soldiers, Freedom from the board's oversight. It sounds like you've got some plan to overthrow the board. Hardly. The board is rotting from the inside. Tomorrow, next year, a generation from now, eventually the board will fall to pieces. Entropy is the natural state of the universe, Captain. All systems inevitably dissolve. When that day comes to Halcyon, we will be ready. Hmm. So you're a band of outlaws living on the edge of an asteroid. Some revolution. Not all revolutions involve bloodshed and fire, Captain. The purest act of rebellion is to live according to one's own means, independent of any masters. One day, when the board is weak and Halcyon vulnerable, we may claim a piece of this system for ourselves. Until then, we bide our time. What makes you think you're free? The skies around Scylla are curiously absent of patrol ships. It's almost as if the board's sphere of influence is shrinking. Besides, our facility is well armed and located on defensible terrain. If the board tries to lay siege to us, we'll make them pay. Let's change the subject. Something on your mind? I should go. Alrighty, so there's some stuff going on. Let's, um, I saw a terminal here somewhere. Let's go read on that for a second. Oop, oop, here we go. Harlow's crew, welcome to high ground, soldier. Main menu logs. Okay, acquisition logs. Let's see. Independent freighter, cat's meow. Hall contraband pharmaceutical. Summary. Brought down salvage cargo, ransomed crew. Independent freighter, gateway sticks. Oh, getaway sticks. Hall, subversive literature. Brought down salvage cargo, crew joined up. Freighter, werewolf. Hull, engine parts. Summary. Brought down salvage cargo, crew jettison in escape pod. As usual, we were able to intercept these ships despite how clearly they masked their heat signatures. Their heat signatures. Our, pa our patron pulled through again with that tracking data. Don't know how they get their hands on it, but we're in, we're in no position to refuse charity. Hmm. Memo. Crew. I'm beginning to wonder about our patron. When we opened up our scanners and sniffed the system for our latest Wildcat, we picked up a signal from a corporate freighter nearby. It was hauling ten times more cargo than our target. No sooner did we scan it than a message came through ordering us to go after the Wildcat instead. Something doesn't add up. Until I get answers, stay skeptical. Harlow. Okay. Open last entry. Pirate code. Rule number one. Harlow's the boss. Rule number two, blank the board. <laughs> Rule number three, why are you still reading, pig? Wake up. If you're seeing this, the board already owns you. You went looking for the rules. Why? Because life's a game to you. 
Maybe you like being played. You guzzle down that sense of security like it's purple berry flavored opium. Blank rules and blank terminals. It's not a revolution if we're using the weapons they raised against us time and time again. From the front lines to the riots to the corporate sit-ins and error. Document Pirate's Code has exceeded character limit. <laughs> okay, exit. All right, so that's that was interesting. Let's uh, let's go ahead and sell. Let's go ahead and sell. Uh, whatever junk we may have. Okay, and uh, let's get back to what we need to do. So Groundbreaker for Felix is the next stop, and Monarch for Nyoka is the next stop. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Oh? What's happening? Are you guys shooting this thing again? Alright, you guys are not talking for some reason. Alright, let's actually... You know what? Let's actually go to um, the Groundbreaker in case Felix's quest extends further out, possibly to Monarch as well. Because, well, that could happen. Destination reached. The groundbreaker. Alrighty, so we need to take Felix with us, and I think that's really it. Uh, Felix is the must have. Okay, let's keep on going with Felix and Nyoka. That should work out well. Okie dokie. We're going to speak to Rosanna. And ah, hello, Rosanna. You mind trying to have a moment here? With who? I'm looking for a guy by the name of Rufus Trask. I'm told he lived around here. Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Oh. If you know where Trask is, you want to tell me. That's Harlow's mark. No mistake. Guess he's not letting this one go. I don't want any manner of harm befalling Rufus. Not on my account. You should worry about yourself. Hey, easy. I'm just trying to go about my day. Don't need some hired thug glaring me down. Rufus and his band of merry gun hands are hiding out in Emerald <clears throat> Vale. I swear, that's all I know. I've got a few more questions. Not inclined to answer your questions. Not after the way you talked to me. You're right. I was rude. And I apologize. Yeah, all right. What else did you <laughs> You and Tress split up? That's right. Our marriage contract expired some months ago. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted to. Mm. How much do you know about Harlow? Precious little. He and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back, before he vanished. A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution. Something about getting rich. Abandoned his work and ran off that very day. Huh. Sounds familiar, Felix. He must have been recruiting. Gathering up his band of revolutionaries. Word of advice, kid? Anybody carrying on about a revolution just wants to sell you something. I don't know, Harlow. Never so much as bandied a word with the fellow. You're better off having this discussion with Rufus. Fair enough. Harlow tells me Trask betrayed him. Do you know anything about that? Only that Rufus is in a bad way. He came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. Never asked why. He was here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say goodbye. In that order. Hmm. He didn't tell you anything about Harlow? No, and he was particular about that. Said I was better off not getting entangled in his mess. Little late for that, says I. That's all I wanted to know. I'll leave you be. Appreciate it. No offense meant. Just been a long day is all. Hmm. Alrighty. So, looks like we are now going to Emerald Vale. Oh, what, what is this thing? Oh, can I steal this po- uh, Oh, people are looking at me. You know, I'm going to steal the poster and see what happens. Oh, nice. Oops. Hey, I saw that. 
Do 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 do. I'm running. I'm running away. Running away. Run. Run. Running away. Running away. You people are trying to kill me for a poster. What's wrong with these people? I'm running away. I don't want to kill you guys for a damn poster. Oh my goodness. Things are going crazy. Groundbreaker reputation decreased. Oh, look at all the baddies coming. Let's go. Let's go, people. Let's get out of here. Okay. <laughs> you know, I probably should have actually waited to someone to, to say, hey, what are you doing? And been like, oh, nothing. Oh, this wasn't for free? Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Yeah, yeah, we know. We know, Ada. It's okay. It's okay. Let's, uh... All right, so we have Monarch and we have Terra 2. So let's go to Terra 2 since that's already highlighted. Let's go to Edgewater. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Fantastic. All right, once again, we're going with Felix. I'm sorry, Felix and Nyoko. Let's, let's head out. All righty, so we need to get to somewhere. Let's take a look at the map here. It's going to load forever, of course, because that's just what it does. Alright, so this is... Oh, this is over here. No, that's not where we're going. Where's the... Do we, oh, wow, it's over here. Okay. Okay, where's the... Um, over here. Let's go. What? Here they come! What? Oh no! Oh, up in here you! There you go! Oh, that's the last of them. Yep, sure is. Let's go, party peeps. There we go. There's a little entrance right here. Hello. Oops. I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. That's right. Harlow said you betrayed him. Yeah, of course he did. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Harlow wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. Mm. Why did you betray Harlow? How do I know that I can trust you? What's the worst that could happen? Harlow sends a stranger with a gun after you? Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen, I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All the palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Go piss up a rope, kid. I've got nothing to prove to you. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another bored asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. Hmm. Hold on. You've got some explaining to do. Say your piece. You're asking me to take your word. Show me some evidence. Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. You've got proof? Yeah, there is. You're looking at him. <laughs> huh. You ain't like other board agents I heard about. You got a functioning spine. You want to confront Harlow yourself? Be my guest. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility mm. corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. Why would the board buy off Harlow? Because he's for sale. Anything the board can buy, the board will buy. And that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard. And he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. What was Harlow doing for the board? 
Board-sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the Board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the Board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself. Gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the Board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. Hmm. All right, I've heard enough. Take it, you've made up your mind. I'm not going to kill you, Trask, but I'm going to ask you for your ring. You going to tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. Here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. Take care. All right, let's talk. Where are you? Uh... Yeah, you. You don't want to talk about nothing? Oh, no, we got to talk later, right? You're going to say, hey, can we talk about something? All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Cool. Let us go. I am a dirty, autonomous, digital astrophator, Sam. <laughs> I have cleaned my internals and ages. Can you hardly process the sheer quantity of dust built up in there? <laughs> Tell me you've seen worse. <laughs> oh, um, we'll continue this later. Oh my goodness. Ada's such a freakazoid. Okay, so let's go back to Harlow's base. Let's go back to Harlow's base. Uh, and let's see what we can see. Alright, Felix, Nyoka, let's go. Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, he's got hidden behind somewhere over here. Is it outside? It might be outside. I don't, I don't remember really. Um, and that is a negativo. That is not a. Ooh, was that a way? No, that's not a way up there. All right, let's go. Gotta go all the way around, peoples. Come on. You think I would learn from the first time? Look at this little thing here. This is kind of cool looking. All right, let's uh, let's get inside here. Oh. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Stash receipts. Okay, return to Hollow with Felix. Let's go. Can I read what the stash receipts say? Let me see. Uh, maybe not. Okay. All right, let's go talk to this dude. What's the word? Task had a lot of <clears throat> Trask had a lot to say about you. Not surprised. Trask was a dead man trying to negotiate with his own executioner. He'd say anything to preserve his life. Trask told me you've been working for the board. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? Show him the papers. You've been bought off. I've got the receipts. Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. And that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. When we met, you told me Trask was an informant for the board. You were lying. You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my face. Come on, Harlow. Why would Trask rat you out to... Come on, Harlow. Why would Trask rat you out to your own employers? Employers. How should I know? But what the hell do I care? Trask was a traitor. I didn't ask you to understand his motives. I asked you to cross him off. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. 
Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. Jackasses! Whoa! Okay. That's one down! What else? People are coming after me! No, no! Hit him, Felix! Smack him again, Felix. Do it. <laughs> oh, Marla's still up and around? Marla, you still kicking, boy? Let's see here. Come on. Everyone come. All right? <laughs> what is this thing you're rocking, Nayoka? Look at that thing. It was crazy looking. Alrighty. Alright, so let's do the loot. This is... This is definitely not how I imagined it would end. The void's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. You're just gonna have to come to terms with that, bud. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is, uh... This is a lot to take in. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. I can understand what you're, why you're upset. You feel like he betrayed you. Yeah, he did. And I'm not sure how I'm going to get over that. It'll pass. Give it time. I hope so. I don't see this one passing anytime soon. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm going to be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. Part of me wishes we'd put Trask in the ground. You know, I think that's just my frustration talking. Thanks for your time, boss. Level 28. Very nice. Let's, uh, let's head on out. Got a few more of these bad boys to do. These guys are not attacking me. That's great. Incoming! Oh, they are attacking me. Oh, no. Oh, let's get him up in the air. Whoa. Hello, boys. There you go. <laughs> what uh what's going on? Oh, there you go. It's okay. It's okay, just go. Just go with it. Just go with it. It's okay. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the Oh, there's another dude here. Who do we have? Who else is here? There's a little mark oh, this guy right here, I guess. No? He's just a construction dude. Okay, so I guess we're pretty good. Let's get back on the ship. Captain, Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. Ah, they're arguing about toss ball. All right, let's take a look at our skills point situation here really quick. I think we should do some more ranged craziness up here. Let's get these up a little bit higher. Oops. Nice. Okay, that that's good. Like that. All right, apply. Very nice. Perks. Okay, let's do that. Very nice. Apply. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and I think we are done with Felix's. Yes, we are. Okay, we still have to deal with Nyoka. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to Monarch. Cascadia. We're in orbit over Cascadia, Captain. All right, let's go. Stay safe out there. Will do, will do. Okay, where is the spot? 420 meters away? Do we have a location we can warp to? Let's take a quick look, see. Alrighty, looks like, hmm, looks like our best bet is heading this thing here. Alrighty, 173 away. So let's, let's go there. Hello. Greetings! <laughs> Suspended animation. There you go. Kill the thing. Kill it. It's okay. There you go. Look at this guy. Oh no! Up in the air it goes! <laughs> Ooh. Hello, Manta Queen. You are the Manta Queen! Alrighty. La muerte. 
Alright, so we have an Uber Mantic who we need to kill. So that's in that direction over there, so let's go. Whew, here we go. I haven't set foot in here, here. since. Wow. I'm ready. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Here we go. Okay. If you say so. Let's open the door. Let's get in here. Huh. Got several different objectives here. Let's see. It's like a dungeon. What's this about? Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. I take it we need to kill these bad boys. Ooh, all kinds of fire, all kinds of fires, burning it all up. Nice. Oof. Oh, what is? What's? Something's burning me. Am I burning myself? Can I please stop burning myself? Oh, thank you. Alrighty. Alright, so we killed all these bad boys. That's, uh... Where is the Super Manta Queen? Oh, no. Maybe you already killed the Manta Queen? Possibly. Someone else is... Oh, no. Another one. Let's inspect the grounds. Let's see what else we have here. Man, I'm gonna go loot crazy once this is all done. The remains. Place glands. Well, this is the spot. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs and everything would be all right in the end. But I ain't. I'm mostly just empty. A little sad, maybe. The first night Hayes and I spent in here, we knew it was home safe. It's got a nice chill to it, but mostly it doesn't stink of sulfur. I'm with you there. I hate that smell. Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here, and there ain't anything you can do about it. But here, somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. You built all this? This base? We hauled in steel. Hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal liked camping. Anders liked chasing her tail. Four of us for a while, scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors, who took a kindness to Hayes. And Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking her on at first. But for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. A teenager? Out here in Monarch Wilderness? Believe me, I had my complaints. She had a head for numbers. Helped us trade hides for food and materials. Negotiated contracts. Turned out to be mighty useful. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca... Opal, and me. Six folks, one name. One family. Charon. Despite Monarch trying to kill us day in and day out, we managed to belong. I'm sorry they aren't here to see us kick some manty ass. Let's do this. Here they come! All right. Let's kill it. Whoa, here we go. Oh no, the Magic Queen! Something fierce! Burn it! Burn it! Kill it! You gotta burn it, people. Burn, baby, burn! Disco Inferno! Burn it! Nice! <laughs> Oh no, la muerte! Oh, la muerte! Oh! Oh 
Oh no! <laughs> oh, look at this Manta Queen craziness. Got freaking craziness hairdo. Oh man. All right, Nyoka. I wish these were more auspicious circumstances, but at least we're all here. This bringing them together, burying them. This is the kind of thing Hayes would have done. That makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but that also makes it right. Captain, thank you. You're welcome. You mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd, I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest. You're leaving the <clears throat> you're leaving the medallions here? I suppose that's wise. Go ahead. Examine. Between reptodons and women, he died doing what he loved, chasing tail. <laughs> His most egregious crime was having the gall to die before me. The closest thing to a sister that I ever lost. Wow. At the very least, you came back to us in the end. One of the very few who deserved better. Wow. What's in here? This small toolbox is locked, and it seems Nayoka has broken the mechanism so that it can't be opened. Inside, you hear the rattling of several small metal objects, likely her team medallions. Okay. That completes this thing. Let's get out of here. But before that, let's take the loot! Alright, we are out. Let's take a look at our log. And looks like we are all caught up. Except for this weapons from the void thing, which I'm just going to leave alone. Alright, Brave New World is where it's at. Let's go ahead and warp back to the ship. Alrighty. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? <laughs> Alrighty, so it looks like we have finished up all our miscellaneous quests, all our companion quests. And at this point in time, we are ready to proceed to Tartarus. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that there for now, folks. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. My name's Abe. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.